good evening in the year 1967 the parliament of india has passed an act called unlawful unlawful activities prevention act and as far as this particular act is concerned this is basically meant for effectively preventing certain activities which are unlawful so obviously you have the power to arrest the people in advance and of course this is related to uh, individuals this is related to organizations this is related to terrorist groups so before they act so before they execute their idea it is better to stop them so that is called preventing and the law has permitted this law has permitted to put them behind the bars and take them to the trial if proved guilty you know they should be punished as per the law but the point is that when you arrest such type of people how long you are permitted to keep them behind the bars without any trial without any moment in the case you cannot keep a person behind the bars for quite long period of time meaning is simple this particular activity of keeping someone behind the bars for an indefinite period of time is nothing but the violation of article 21 of the constitution which mentions about the right to life and personal liberty so this is what is the observation that was made by the honorable supreme court of india plus without giving the trial meaning you are not in a position to complete the whole process as soon as possible so you are not trying for delivering the justice then obviously that will be considered as a violation of human rights right so this is a case study and i am going to show you the points related to this first we we'll look at the basic points then we we'll look at the concerned case kindly have a look at this here it is so the name of the act is unlawful activities prevention act of 1967 this will provide for more effective prevention of certain unlawful activities who are performing this it may be by individuals it may be by associations and also for dealing with the terrorist or terrorist activities and for matters connected there with very 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 important one you need to look at the points very closely now what the supreme court has observed so under this particular act on the name of prevention you are arresting someone and putting that someone behind the bars look at this putting a person accused under the unlawful activities act behind the bars for an unduly long time if you are keeping for a long period of time that too with no progress in the trial or appeal process is a violation of his or her fundamental right this is what the observation made by the honorable supreme court arresting someone for preventing certain unlawful activities is very much permitted but the point here is that how long you can keep the person behind the bars with no progress in trial or appeal process and if you are doing this that is a violation of that person's fundamental rights and it will be a threat to public confidence in the administration of the justice obviously the people will lose the confidence right while deprivation of personal liberty for some period may not be avoidable meaning because the circumstances are very severe allegations accusations are very severe 
you are preventing someone you have detained someone to stop him from doing some unlawful activities that is leading to the deprivation of personal liberty fine very much fine but to some extent for some period that is very much fine but the period of deprivation pending the trial or appeal cannot be unduly long meaning is simple under the law a person can be detained in order to prevent some unlawful activities but you should take the whole process forward there should be a progress in trial or should permit the person to appeal without anything you cannot keep the person behind the bars for unduly long period at the same time timely delivery of justice which is a part of human rights and a denial of a speedy justice is a threat to public confidence in the administration of justice very 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 important one if the justice is not delivered in time that's a violation of human rights very very important please remember this once it is known that a trial a timely trial is not possible and the accused has already suffered a significant period of incarceration the courts are obligated to enlarge an under trial on bail meaning if the accused has already suffered a significant period behind the bars then you should open the option of providing bail to such person and allow him to walk out with conditions that whenever required he has to appear before the respective authorities look at this under trials under trials cannot indefinitely be detained pending trial deprivation of personal liberty without ensuring speedy trial is not consistent with article 21 of the constitution very 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 important clear and kindly remember especially the students who are preparing for ias and also group 1 main examination at the state level you should be very clear with these examples clear right case studies will be given to you and you should be able to answer that and this judgment came in an appeal filed by 74 year old man ashim he was booked under unlawful activities prevention act and has been in prison awaiting trial for nearly look at this situation very pathetic for a decade right and the court found that state has arranged 298 prosecution witnesses in the case and the charges against the accused are undoubtedly serious meaning whatever the charges that have been framed against the accused ashim are really serious but the court said that the charges will have to be balanced with certain other factors like the period of incarceration which he has undergone and the likelihood period within which the trial can be expected to be finally concluded because right it's nearly a decade is quite quite a long period of time and that person who has been seriously accused right was behind the bars since that particular time and the court took all these points into consideration and court gave the judgment fine now now i'll be moving forward <coughs> look at this the court noted that cases investigated by nia should be tried on day to day basis and have priority over other cases 
so this is what the court said so these cases must be tried on day to day basis because the charges are very severe and the person has to be punished soon if the person is not guilty the person has to be left free as soon as possible is that okay but the ground realities are totally different as in the instant case after the charge sheet came to be filed way back in the year 2012 charges were framed after 7 years of filing the charge sheet in june 2019 right this is what is observed by the court and court ordered that accused to be released on bail this is how the court will come to rescue of the people right and ultimately as we know the court will always take you know the constitution into consideration right fundamental rights into consideration wherever there is a violation and the court will be ordering uh, in a manner where fundamental rights of the people are protected thank you so much and i'll see you in the next session